Give me time to sing. I don't wanna be. I don't wanna be. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Relations. I'm here again for a new episode. <clears throat> I have a guest. This is actually really interesting. I just met this man about two and a half hours ago um, through a mutual friend. And, you know, I was just featured in their podcast called Honestly Lie. Um, that's interesting. Two men talking about being honest and lying at the same time. Um, it was a little raunchy. So, you know, just know it's rated R. So please don't watch with your children. <laughs> um, but... Here we are. Um, so, so give him your name, um, who you are, because I don't, I don't know you. Um, all I know is that I just met you mm -hmm. doing your podcast. So, mm -hmm. how do you feel after us recording? Um, I think it was pretty good. My name is Just. Um, I'm one half of the Let's Honestly Lie podcast, um, and we had a good time. I think we had a, a pretty good conversation tonight. We did have a good conversation, and so it led us to continue the party, you know, literally it was two hours ago, so now we're now in my podcast, um, just, I guess, readdressing or backtracking a little bit based on the conversations that were popping up throughout the night, mm -hmm. and so, you know, let's see what um, <laughs> Justin wants to talk about, so his relation, his podcast is a lot, well, not a lot different, it's a little different from mine. Um, where they kind of focus more on relationships um, and ideas and relationships. So I asked Justin, what does he want to unlearn? Um, that was one of my main key details um, that I mentioned tonight. And so he told me he wants to learn his idea of monogamy. Um, and so I guess my little thing, I like to um, perceive that a lot of humans don't agree on things because they don't define things um, the same way. And so I like to start with definitions of what mm -hmm. we think something is before mm -hmm. we like discuss it so we could be aligned and on the same page. Um, a lot of people, you guys know that's from This True. I've been doing this for a while. So my question to you is, what do you define monogamy to be? Um. To be with one person uh, in a relationship, uh, sexually, emotionally. At a time or like at the same period of time um, for a year? Long term. Long term. Yeah. Okay. So being with one person and not with anyone else. Yeah. Got it. Have a clear understanding of who each other, you know. just Commitment. A, yeah. A, a pure commitment. Pure commit. Pure mm -hmm. commitment. Because there's such thing as regular commitment and then pure commitment. That's interesting. It is. Yeah. Um... So for me, I would say monogamy is, um, yeah, choosing to be um, spiritually, emotionally, and mentally connected with one person at a time. Mm -hmm. um, so tell me, why this topic and why do you want to unlearn monogamy? I think people who are monogamous are the most selfish people on earth. Why do you say that? Because it begins with selfishness. It, the base, the basis of a relationship is selfishness. I'm only with you because you fuck me the right way. I don't know if that's too derogatory. Oh, yeah. that is a little bit. I'm only Just with you because me, you please me the right way. You cook for me the right way. If you didn't do for these, your advantage. No, it's not about advantage. But if you didn't do those things that I liked, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be with you. Period. So it's mm -hmm. based off of pure selfishness. Mm -hmm. And that's the basis of every relationship. So you think that everyone is going into everything or in relationships selfishly. Do you think absolutely. that that's a human instinct to be yeah, selfish? Absolutely. And people, uh, people attribute these things, uh, well, they attribute um, these factors to selfishness as something bad. Like it's like a negative thing. Mm -hmm. But it's not. But people try to, you know, deter from it. But relationships are 100% selfish. So everyone, and when you say selfish and you define selfish, does that mean like... I'm only with you because you cook for me this way. I'm only with you because you make me laugh. I'm only with you because you... You're doing something for, for me. me. If you didn't do those things for me, the, the, the things that I liked, I wouldn't be with you. Period. Oof. Wow. That's deep. 
Leslie, but I didn't even think about it like that ever before. Um, so do you think that in partnership, right? Because I like to believe that men and women were made for each other. Um, mm -hmm. Even men and men or women and women, two spirit beings mm -hmm. were meant to live this human experience with each other, mm -hmm. which is why we have so many different opposing attributes about who we are, like in our DNA, in our in our gender, so you think um, and in our hormones, and like the way everything works, uh, basically puts us in this place where we, there is like this idea of a soulmate, right? Somebody who is equally yoked as you, who is like your perfect half, right? Which I don't really like to talk, like you guys know in episode three, I talked about this whole idea of like a half of you, like that's crazy that you're walking around here as half of a person. I don't believe that. I believe we're whole beings that come and unite together to elevate um, and to grow and to do different things and to connect with each other. And I think you have multiple soulmates i do believe that in life is not just about one person so you believe it's about, cheating is healthy no i'm not talking about cheating i'm talking about all relationships so when i talk about relationships i don't talk just about romantic ones i'm talking about everybody that you connect with in life period anybody you have See, an experience but, with is for a reason but monogamy is hindering like you monogamy mon, being monogamous is about limiting yourself and limiting your your experiences because if i'm with you right mm -hmm. And just say a coworker of mine comes to me, mm -hmm. female, someone you never met, mm -hmm. um, but I'm very familiar with. Mm -hmm. Say, hey, um, Josh, let's go to this Yankee game. Mm -hmm. Automatically, I'm thinking of how will my girl feel about this, and, yeah, more, and, and more than likely, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go because I'm afraid to hurt her feelings. Right. So now I'm limiting my life and my experiences yeah. because I don't want to hurt your feelings which is ultimately a selfish feeling. Right. That's why, well, when I say monogamy to me, I don't mean like I'm choosing to not connect with anyone else. And when I, I mean, in your podcast earlier today, I mentioned that I want to do relationships differently than anybody I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. I mean that. So like, would you allow your... I, I'm, I, I feel you? like I need to connect with other people. Um, and I don't, I'm not saying... I'm going to go have sex with everybody, but I am saying that I want to, if I meet an interesting male, also, I'm <clears> also <throat> very different because most of my friendships are males. Mm -hmm. um, and so I do that now, like not romantically, but I do that now. I go out with people of the opposite sex and go out to dinner so and hang we, out and so talk to my a, guy friends. So if you're in a relationship, is it okay for you to go out on a dinner date with another guy? Yeah, I've done it. Many times, like some of my greatest friends are all men. No, but so, someone, uh, some, a brand new person, like someone who, from not from your past. Oh, then I would, you know, I'm. That's something I want to talk about. I want to talk about that because I think that it should be okay. I should be able to connect and like have good conversation with okay. somebody of the same sex without it being a threat to my Opposite partner. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, but I do that now, so to me, it's not a big of a and difference. And you, would you tell your partner just like, "Hey, I'm going out with"? Yeah, um, I have. And he's okay with it. Yeah. Okay. Um, but also a lot is of is that my, the norm? I'm I sorry. don't think it's the norm. I definitely don't think I'm the norm. I do know that I'm different because I remember, like, even in high school, I had a male best friend, and I remember like people always consistently um, insinuating that him and I were in somewhat of some type of experiences or being more than just friends mm -hmm. um and it was never the case and i know that people had a hard time understanding how a male and a female can be just friends i think it's really hard for um most con condition that's not our conditioning we're not conditioned to do that okay. so um so why do you want to unlearn it it's not that I, I truly want to unlearn it. I think the masses should unlearn it. Like I'm, a, I'm comfortable with it. Like I understand the, the basis of relationship. Mm -hmm. I truly get it, and I truly understand that being in a monogamous relationship limits your life in many aspects. Um, and I don't think it's natural. I don't think it's natural. I don't think people. I don't think people should do that um, because. I've, I have female friends, mm -hmm. and then they get into a relationship, and then it's like they cut you off. 
Yeah. Not because they want to, but because they don't want to make their person feel yeah, uncomfortable. Yeah, and that's horrible. Like I never, yeah, I it's never. It's kind of whack. Like, yeah. It's like, but we got, we don't even have that kind of relationship. Like, if we did something mm-hmm. sexual, I'm, I kind of understand it's it to a that. degree. Maybe, yeah. But maybe even with an ex, though, I don't even cut my exes off. Like, actually. like I don't think you should cut your exes yeah, off because they help. Little... Because that's the person that helped you get to where get you to are. where I am, and so, I could, and I sh- my relationship with him shouldn't be threatened by exactly. the person I'm with. Exactly. Yeah. Because every relationship is a choice. Which also enforces my opinion of everything being selfish. Because you do things within your self-interest. Mm. Or many things within your self-interest. Right. So, why should I have to cut somebody off that's been a part of my life for the last 10 years? To mm. make you feel comfortable. To right. make you feel satisfied and secure. But I have to cut a piece of myself off to do mm. so. So, how, so, where do we keep the balance of like... The what makes it special? Like, what do you think we have to work extra in learning so that um, we still feel confident? Because I think what makes it like this uncomfortable thing Mm -hmm. is that you almost feel like you're not enough. Like, oh well, if they're with this person, then I'm. That means I'm lacking something. I think like everybody comes. You know, that's the immediate thought, right? Like, what am I not doing, or why am I not enough? And they start to question themselves instead of saying like. With my response, I know this is like a that's a to me that's a, like a, a female trait, and I know you're not big on roles, but <laughs> but I, I think, think guys are like that too. I mean, guys I are very I territorial. Think, I don't think territorial, yes. But yeah, you guys the, like it's mine. I but, don't want nobody that, should have it because I have it. But the like, fact that it's that not enough time. is not a man's trait. To right, me. not enough is not a that's yeah. The, but that's but a you do trait. get territorial. Like I don't want anybody else touching what I got. Yeah, because we're possessive. Right. We're so we possessive. we that's what I'm saying. We we it's, we're both not okay with it for different reasons. Yeah, like right. to be honest with you, I'm I know what I'm saying, but I'm not okay with it. Either. Yeah, like I know exactly what I'm saying, but I'm not okay. With Me, it. Like to be <laughs> that's funny because I feel the same way too. Like even in my my most recent relationship, I was trying to find ways to tell him this, Let me, but I didn't know how to. Can I ask um, you something? Yeah. Is cheating healthy? Is cheating healthy? Um, um, I don't know. What is cheating? Anything you can't. Uh, cheating, to me, cheating means lying, right? Not necessarily. Oh, okay. So what is, what is cheating? Cheating is a selfish act. Number one. It's, it's very selfish. It's for you and you only. Um, <clears throat> it's more of a. It, it, it's one hundred percent selfish. It's it's for you to fulfill a need. But within a relationship, I'm defining change. Mm-hmm. It's for you to fulfill a need, um, or a void of some kind, whether it's sexual, whether it's emotional, whether it's, um, physical, mm-hmm. uh, anything within a uh, uh, frame of mind. Um, I think people in relationships, and, and, and I'm definitely pointing this towards women, mm-hmm. I think when women get into a relationship that they remove themselves from society. They remove themselves mm-hmm. from their friends, their yeah. family, and they focus on that man, which is cool, which is cool, mm-hmm. but I also think that limits their way of thinking. Because mm-hmm. if you notice, when you get with a guy, right? You start using his lingo. Actually, or, or vice versa. With me and my ex, it, yeah. it has so been both of us adapting to each other's yeah. little things that we say. Absolutely, yeah. but what have you put it? You start using his lingo, mm-hmm. or he starts using yours, whatever the case. Mm-hmm. And that's because you're spending time with each other. Like you know, you're spending mm-hmm. much more time with each other, and you're adapting his ways or her ways, whatever have you. Um, but you're as you're doing that. And you're getting familiar with your partner. Mm-hmm. You're also cutting yourself off from your friends. Do you think that and there is space for you to keep some things about you while being in a relationship? Yeah, you keep certain more things. than more than not. It depends how strong the individual is. Does it have to be about the strength, or can it be two people that are strong in the life that they're leading, and they can still combine while still still staying how, true it to themselves? It depends how strong the individual is, because someone's always stronger than another. So you think in any case, there's always a strength level. Absolutely. Instead of like, well, there's different things to weigh. 
there's know always, what I there's mean. Always, there's always a, a winner and a loser. Whether you're mentally strong. So there's so so you believe in the seven seventy thirty rule, the sixty forty. What? Well, well, you're you're that person. I, I, I don't. I don't. What's the, what's the rule? So they say, like you know, you could find somebody who believe, like you could get if she's seventy percent of what I like a good like nobody gets good the whole thing. Pop. Then I'll just nobody sacrifice that. Nobody gets the whole pot. Nobody. Ever got so the whole pot. so you don't believe that you can no. get the hundred percent. You'll never get it. You, it's so impossible. You, or even ninety nine point nine. No. So it's gonna be always the seventy thirty. Eighty twenty. Eighty twenty. Ninety ten. Ninety ten. 2080. It depends what you want to settle for. We all settle to some degree. Man, I don't believe that. I don't nobody come from gets 100%. A place of black. I don't, I don't. Nobody gets 100% what they want. Like, just, it's, it's impossible. I think that you could create it. I think, nah. impo- I don't believe in impossibility. No. But that, I mean, that's just me, but I, I respect your opinion. No. Um, There's always a limit. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I don't believe, I don't believe that. I believe, I don't know. I, I guess. Crazy me, because I believe that there is a world that's bigger than the one that we've created and that we are powerful beings. We were made very perfectly and very powerful. And anything that we want, we can get if we just create it. We have the power to. That's all we do. This whole thing was created by us. The whole entire universe, besides... The mountains, mm-hmm. the ground, the trees, the things that grow you from earth. Besides never, those natural things, everything else was created by a human. Like, never, that to me is impeccable. But you never get 100% of what you want. Wow. It's impossible. To me, for those who found it, kudos to you. But I, I don't think it's about a percentage, right? Maybe you, maybe you that's what it is. The terminology of percentages makes me uncomfortable to begin with. I think it's about the fact that Everybody brings something different to your life. Anybody you interact with brings something different to you. Yeah. And you are um, an evolution or a transition of pieces I, that absolutely. has evolved I don't over agree. time with I, different people. That's why yeah. my original statement, I think, relationships are 100% selfish. Because you limit yourself. Like, I met you tonight. Mm-hmm. Now, say you're in a relationship. I don't know what your status or whatever. Okay. Yeah. But I my, my status is undetermined. Okay. Right. So, but say you were in a relationship, right? And I'm like, yo, we gotta, and I hit you tomorrow. Like, yo, we had a great conversation. Let's go get dinner real quick. If you were in a relationship, you would automatically be hesitant to come have dinner with you simply because you're in a relationship. That's not true. You would say, you would say, okay, maybe not you. I I I probably, I probably won't, won't invite you like right now, like into my home, but I, but I definitely will hang out with you. Yeah, but I don't know. Like, because I wouldn't. You know maybe, what? It is? Maybe not you, because the way you think in your frame of mind. Right. But most people. Yeah, would. most people. Yeah, it's a very um, standard way of thinking. Like two op- people from opposite sides can't interact yeah. in those type of limitations. Yeah, yeah. Or whatever limitations it's, are. It's, it's almost like you're barbaric. Like you can't. Like you can't interact because yeah. you're gonna fucking hump each other. Like, yeah. but maybe people do believe they're barbaric. Barbaric. I I come up of a place of a lot. Um, yeah. Of understanding that I am, I am my power, and mm-hmm. what I don't want will never happen. Um, only what I want will happen. I manifest. I'm the creator, and so I. I'm not that optimistic. But that's how I feel. I'm, I'm not, very I'm optimistic. optimistic. I think and so I believe that I create. A ball, man. And my thoughts create it. My heart creates it. My energy creates it. I'm I'm a master creator. And so I believe that any Legacy. situation, I can mold it to be what I need it or not need it to be, um, is a decision. Everything is a decision. Every moment is a decision. Um, every thought is a decision. So Thoughts good. become things. So that's good so. um, I because know my power and I, I actually want, I believe that the world, ha- every, every human on this earth as a spiritual being has it. Um, and what I, why I do all of these things is to inspire that thing within you that's bigger than this world, like, and these little things like monogamy and all these structured things that we created. Like I, there's a purpose that you're here for and I want everyone to tap into theirs. Like I think so people are fucking marriage. awesome. But you believe in marriage? Um, I, I, I believe, I believe in partnership. I believe in journey partnership. I don't mean like I have to be in the monogamous um, structure in the relationship, but I can be whatever I want to be in this journey with a 
a partner. I am tired. I must admit. So do you believe in cheating? I don't know what cheating is. To me, so, cheating, so cheating. So, my definition of cheating means you're doing something and you're not telling the other person about it. It's so like in deceit. Are you if okay you with are, If you are doing something with someone but your partner knows about it and you guys are okay with it and you have an arrangement, I think it's fine. And if you're both really so at peace what, with it. So what if you don't agree to him seeing other women? Then it shouldn't. Then then you are in conflict of agreement, and you should probably not be together. <laughs> don't give me, don't give me these political. Terms. I'm just don't no. I'm me, being uh, no, 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 no. I'm just I just talk, talk very talk eloquently. No, 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 it's, not about, it's not about eloquence. I'm <laughs> not talking eloquence. I'm talking. Give me you. Don't this give me is, the, no, no. This no, is no, what I'm giving no, you. But what I'm saying is, if you were in a relationship, mm -hmm. right, you made a decision to be in a relationship with this person, mm -hmm. and um, I'm assuming he did the same, right? Mm -hmm. And he decided to have sex with other women. I'd be pissed. If you didn't tell me, I'd be pissed. So, so if he could tell you, like, yo, I fucked such and such. I'm sorry. Yeah. I had sex with such and such. Sex. Please use the word. Okay. <laughs> I had sex with such and such. Mm -hmm. Would that, how would that affect you? Um, You know, I need to unlearn that. I'm in the process of unlearning it. But right now, how would you react? Right now, it would make me, f it would do a little tick in my spirit. Not in my spirit, in so my would human. You, is it, would you leave him? No. Um, if he told me before, like if no, you if really he wanted you, to, I, I don't know. I would. No. What if he told you after, like I did it. No. The after, the after would I would feel deceit. But no, if I, he told me before, like listen, there's somebody I really want to interact with sexually, I would say let me meet her. Why? I want to meet her. That's yeah. for him. Yeah. Cheating is a sex. I would want to. I would want to share it. But why? That's not for at you. Least, at least initially. Stop being selfish. That has nothing to do with you. I know, but I need to I need to, you need to unlearn that. that. I need to Stop get better. Being yeah, I need to get better. Not the selfish part. That's selfish because it, it has is. nothing to do with you. It is. He right. I shouldn't be intimidated by his interaction with somebody exactly. else because I should feel strongly in what it is that I'm to bringing to his life. And I know that time, whatever time. connection that we already have and already engage with is ours. Yeah. And no one could interact with that. They they might bring something else to him that I don't, but what I have is only provided by me. Yeah. Because my gift is mine. Yeah. And you, you would remain his girlfriend. Like yeah, like and have, nothing is not nothing is he removed. Would, he would have. Yeah, sex yeah, yeah. With and I feel the same way. I feel like I want I want to do that with different people too. Like I I I also don't. It's not about approval to the person. I'm also in the process of feeling the same way. I really understand that I could have amazing connections. I do all the time. So I wouldn't want that to be hindered because I feel like I'm going to make my my life partner, the one I'm, I choose to walk right next to, feel uncomfortable only because I decided to walk right next to you mm. in this process. So you wouldn't leave your boyfriend for having sex with other women? If he, I mean, I just need to know. I, I, nah. Loyalty is first. Loyalty, communication. Loyalty. If I'm, That's I think to my my biggest thing is is being informed. I like to know. I don't like to be the boo boo the fool. Like uh -huh. I like. But then I got nothing to do with you. I like your to relationship know. with him is your relationship with him. Right, but we we need so we need to be self. under the same understanding. So you're and it's not selfishness. I think it's understanding. Understanding what? You, I need to understand where we are. You and him is y'all good. We're good. We're good. Right. We're, our relationship we, is there good. There is no we. Don't talk about we. we no, 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 there's I'm no talking we. About if, we not good. I don't know you. Remember? No, I don't know you. But I'm talking <laughs> about your boyfriend and who, whoever you are, whatever title you give him. Mm -hmm. Y'all good. You guys are good. Right. But he wants to interact with other women from time. And to time. I do too. Okay. And, and are you, I agree. That's what right, I'm trying to tell you. I'm saying don't, is, don't start that whole. No, I'm not. No, we on what, the same page. No, no, but what I'm saying is, <laughs> what I'm saying is, right, Brad? Why do I have to tell you that I want to interact with someone else? I need to. I just want to know why. Until I get a hundred percent more comfortable, I want to know, and I know you want to know too. I don't want to know. Yeah, right. I swear to God, I don't want to. Because if I know, I'm breaking up with you. <laughs> Why? It's a, it's a selfish act. I understand. So wait, if listen, you know, listen, you will break up with so me. Let me say this. Let me, let me, let me, let me clarify. <laughs> so you're not in the let space me, to unlearn it. Let me clear. Let me clarify this. I understand cheating. Mm -hmm. I think cheating can can be healthy for certain relationships. Mm. Cheating is 100%. It's a 100% selfish act. And if that's something you feel like you need to do, it should be kept to yourself. So if the person I'm with feels like she needs to cheat, then you'll be okay with her cheating Listen, as long as you me, don't know me, about let it. Me let me finish. 
So if she feels like she needs to cheat, do your thing. Cheat. But don't let me find out about it. Why? Because let me live in bliss. Because that's your thing. Do your thing. So what's bliss? I don't. Let me be ignorant. Oh, ignorance is bliss. Yeah. Oh, you're that person. Yeah. Okay. Because we that's only care about the things we know aspect. about. Um, oh, I, it's it. That's a foreign thing to me. I, I, I we're gonna we're gonna be. That's why our our. That's why our thought process is different because the source is so different. It's absolutely. I come different. I come from a place of knowledge, so I don't. Yeah, I don't do ignorance. Like no, I, because I the, like to. You don't care about the. You don't care about the things that you don't know about. There's a million things we don't know about it, but of you don't. Even, you don't care about it. So, you only care when you know. You only care when you know. So, so you and, rather and, and, just and it, not it's tell. It's unhuman. Them. It's unhuman to be with one person for the rest of your life. So you might as well just not say anything. Keep it a secret. Lead, lead like separate lives. Ball out, have fun. And just ball out, have fun. I mean, that's a. You know what? I'm not. I'm not shutting it down. That's interesting. That's an interesting. As long as it doesn't change the dynamic of how you do. So what do you think this should be called? What? Like this is new category. I don't know. It's a new category, you know. You're gonna have to come up uh, with like a whole a thing and start the revolution. I think, I, Listen, I'm all about revolution. I think people have been doing this. Oh, we're all doing it. We're just not we're just talking. Not we're just not admitting yeah. to it. I think <laughs> people have been doing this. <laughs> it's like we're doing it's something, a, but we're pretending that we're new. not. <laughs> it's nothing new. It's nothing new. But then there's so, so much divorce and breakups though because of it. So because like that needs to out. end because they find out because of Facebook. Yeah, but then we need to get to the point where if it's not a problem. Stop, stop going through understand. her phone. Stop going through her phone. No, listen. If you, if everyone just communicates it and is okay with that, no, it's not about okay with it without you, it being. No, because you find joy it doesn't have in to it. be a cheating. I don't know. I think there's find, something about this seed that's not good. They, they find they find a reassurance on it. It's like it's okay. Say so like this. Cheating. Okay, so you say your relationship is your job. You're nine to five, right? Mm -hmm. You work every day, mm -hmm. back to back, nine to five every day. Mm -hmm. But your cheating is your vacation. You look forward to your vacation. You don't look. You comparing it to no, listen, a nine let, to let, five? Me, let me finish. Let me finish. <laughs> your job. Did did I say job? Uh, relationship is work. Yeah, but damn, nine to five. Let me finish. It's a nine to five every day because this is what you deal with every day. You come home. To yeah, but every... I don't want it. That it let shouldn't me, feel I, like can that. I finish? They say they say a relationship is work. Mm -hmm. So that I'm using the same concepts in the same terms. Nine to five every day. You're doing this thing. Right here. But you look forward to your vacation, right? You this is your escape from your work. This mm. is your escape from your relationship. This is something different. You sit on an island. You sit in mm. bliss. Because you don't have to worry about that over there. I don't give a fuck what email I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I, I don't, please watch your language. I don't care what email I got. Mm -hmm. I don't care who didn't pick up the phone call. Who didn't respond. That's your bliss. And that's your cheating. Mm. Your vacation is your cheating on your job. I mean, I don't. I don't like to think about relationship as a job. I don't like that much structure. I believe that the no, things of this like world is a little see? too structured for me. See, now um, you don't like music. But 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 I mean, when see it comes Paul? to no see, no no no, she no, just no. Said, I don't like structure. Listen, okay, <laughs> I don't on, do see? I don't do this whole like oh let's do roles and cult. The society tells you to do things like this and do things like that. That's a lot. Like a lot of roles. We don't do rules. This is the thing. Um, I think that, you know, what people, I think everything is custom made. I think certain things are for certain people. And I think there's certain things that are innate of us. I do believe it's innate for us to connect with each other in all formats um, forever and ever. I don't think that should ever stop. Okay. I hope that we don't um, no longer uh, live a life where men and women cannot be just friends because I believe I, a lot of my my greatest actually one of my bestest friends are all guys that's what's so crazy to me and i haven't had sex with any of them <laughs> and it's still respect and there's still a level of um they don't have to be about no one's humping my leg and acting crazy like it's not that real like we could just sit in a room and be like regular fucking humans and spirits first so um i think that's the premise of this um do you have any final thoughts no, Justin, I think I got my point across. You got your point across. I think so. Perfect. Well, um, thanks for listening, everybody, for another episode with a stranger. 
Um, I enjoyed it. I hope you guys did too. This is going to be a good one. Um, it's different. I like it. I like different. Um, so we'll catch up in the next episode. See you guys soon. Later. Do I leave? Do I stay? Do I go? Well, think about my life and what matters to me the most. Girl, the love and, we share. and now the best part. Here are the after credits. A message from my co-host. So this is my uh, reiteration to the diary of MR, right? Yeah. Cool. All right. So, um... I think relationships are 100% selfish. The basis of relationship is selfish. You're only with that person because they make you feel a certain way. They do the things that you like, and if they didn't do those things that you like or make you feel that certain way, you wouldn't be with them, period. Um, and I think people need to really, really find a way to redefine relationships and monogamy and the way we cater to each other. That's it. Um, and I don't know the, the way we. Uh, I would assume we fixed this. Well, my my advice on the situation is to let's stop judging people on what they do. Let's have an open mind to uh, that people don't fulfill every need and want of their partner. Allow them to be free and you know. Build relationships with other people. Ignorance is bliss, and you should allow people to live in it. Uh, there is there's a sense of reassurance in knowing that that person chooses to come back to you every time, and you should hold on to that.